VGA, HDMI, and DisplayPort are the primary cables we have been using all these years. As VGA gradually becomes obsolete, the main confusion is choosing between HDMI and DisplayPort. Each connection has its own set of strengths that could either enhance or limit your experience. HDMI has been the go-to for years, but with DisplayPort's increasing presence in high-performance setups, it's worth taking a closer look. In this video, we will have a look at the battle between HDMI and DisplayPort and arm you with the knowledge to make the perfect choice for your setup. Let's start with the basics, how these connectors look and feel. HDMI, short for High Definition Multimedia Interface, sports a distinctive trapezoid shape. It's the familiar port you've likely seen on your TV, resembling a slightly squashed USB port. On the other hand, DisplayPort has a more rectangular design with a slight notch on one side. But it's not just about looks. HDMI connectors have 19 pins, while DisplayPort gives you 20. This extra pin isn't just for show. It plays a crucial role in DisplayPort's enhanced capabilities. HDMI cables also feature a locking mechanism that relies on friction, which means they can sometimes come loose. DisplayPort, however, uses a more secure latch system that clicks into place, which ensures a rock-solid connection. Now, let's get into the nitty-gritty of what sets these two apart. Picture this. You're working on a complex project that requires multiple monitors. With DisplayPort's MST feature, you can daisy-chain up to four displays from a single output. It's like having an octopus for a graphics card. HDMI, unfortunately, lacks this capability, which limits you to one display per port. Most modern monitors and graphics cards support VRR to reduce screen tearing, which works over HDMI and DisplayPort. Without VRR, you'd experience screen tearing, an unsightly effect where the image appears split. Both HDMI 2.1 and DisplayPort 1.4 support VRR, but DisplayPort implemented it earlier and more widely. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card and want to use VRR, it's best to use a DisplayPort connection unless you know your monitor supports it over HDMI. The USB-C alt mode is where things get interesting. USB-C ports can carry DisplayPort signals, which opens up a world of possibilities. This feature allows for incredibly versatile setups, especially on laptops where port space is at a premium. Devices with USB-C ports like laptops, phones, and even the Nintendo Switch support DisplayPort Alt Mode, so they can send a video signal to a monitor that supports it too. But if we talk about compatibility, then HDMI has been the king for years. It's the jack of all trades, found on everything from high-end gaming rigs to budget TVs. Higher-end monitors support both, while budget screens usually only have HDMI. DisplayPort, while incredibly capable, is less common on consumer electronics. Notable outliers are modern Apple monitors, which only have DisplayPort. And now, the all-important question, which cable should you choose? For video editors, HDMI often takes the crown. Why? It's all about color depth and HDR support. HDMI 2.1 supports up to 48 gigabytes per second of bandwidth, which allows for 10K resolution at a 60 Hz refresh rate. That's enough detail to make your eyes weep with joy. Plus, HDMI's widespread adoption means it plays nicely with a broader range of professional monitors and TVs. Gamers, on the other hand, often swear by DisplayPort. It's not just about raw numbers, although DisplayPort 2.1's 80 gigabytes per second of bandwidth is nothing to sneeze at. It's about the experience. With support for higher refresh rates at 4K resolution, DisplayPort delivers smooth gameplay that can give you the edge in competitive scenarios. It's like upgrading from a bicycle to a sports car. Once you've experienced it, there's no going back. But let's not get caught up in the specs war. The truth is, for most users, both standards will serve you well. The key is to consider your specific needs and equipment. If you're running a multi-monitor setup or pushing the boundaries of high refresh rate gaming, DisplayPort is your best bet. If you're more concerned with wide compatibility or working with video content, HDMI might be the way to go. In the end, the best pick is the one that fits what you need without costing you too much. So, take a good look at your setup, consider your future needs, and make the call. Let us know which one you are going for in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.